Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create simple um, spec and normal maps to include into your game that you can apply to your different objects. Now for this tree right here and the other trees, they are using a, um, a normal map and a spec, spec map to uh, give it that kind of 3D feel. As I rotate around it, it'll look like it's more 3D than flat. And you can do it that by using those types of maps. Now, what I use for this is Crazy Bump, which is just a program you can download. It automatically creates these maps for you. I believe I just have the trial version right now, but you can... I don't think it costs too much for the full version, but, yeah. We can just go open, and you want to go open photograph from file, and we can just do whatever for right now. We can just grab whatever texture. So let's say this is our, our texture that we're using. So it'll go load up. You can select whichever shape you want. Um, let's see here. We might go for this one. And now we have a little preview window that will preview how the texture will look possibly in game. It might look a little bit different depending on what game engine you're using, but it'll look somewhat similar to that. So in here, um, this is our normal map right here you can adjust the intensity and you can see it update right there how sharp it is so we can add noise to it um, just different little details it'll, it'll change that map and it'll change this really fine detail like for my trees and such I use really fine detail for it just so it gives it a little more depth to it but it really depends on what object or what texture you're trying to use if it was like a metal surf surface, you wouldn't want it to be too bumpy at all, like this. You might want to uh, increase this for little cuts or scrapes on the metal, maybe to make it, um, give it a more 3D feel to it. But for this, yeah, I'm just going to be doing that. So when you're all done and you want, you're you satisfied with how it turned out, you can go to save, and you just want to go save normals to file and it will add this little thing at the end so if you already have your texture labeled you don't really have to change anything you can just save it right out I always save mine as a targa like I do with any any of my other files and now you can go over here to um, spec map and you can do the same settings for that however you want um, this will make it more shiny and such or give it like a more glossy feel when you add this kind of map um, so you can go around mess with that. It doesn't have to be the exact same as your normal map. So if you want it to be however you want it to look, just uh, mess around with all that. And once you're set with that, just hit save. And save it out, and it'll save that as a spec. Now, once those two get saved out, you can um, import them. I imported mine into... I have my own little models folder. And in here see tree broken I just went and I imported them under where my textures were already for my tree so my diffuse base texture was already in here and I just added both the maps in here now in the settings you can uh, what you want to do is you want to drop this down from texture to normal map for your um, normal map just so the engine can read that it is one and then you can adjust the bumpiness to whatever you want and it'll give it a little more detail depending on um, what you adjust it to it'll pop out more or whatnot and then um, well what I did for mine is I just made it a point map since my art style is a lot sharper that'll make the texture sharper and this level right here um, the more you're looking at a texture at an angle the less blurry it will be so I always set my textures the highest it can go which is nine so yeah I set that all up. You can do filtering, sharp, or smooth. I just left mine on smooth. And then for the spec map, I did. Uh, I just left it on billionaire and set that to nine as well. And you leave this this as a texture. So once we have those two maps, we can go in here to our object. Now for this, I'm using a nature filter. So I went to nature and tree bark creator. And this is just for a tree. For any other one, you might want to use, um, like, let's 
let's see here. Yeah, there's all these different ones like Bumps, Specular, and different ones that you can actually use normal maps for. And when you click on them, it'll say normal map right here, so you know where to drop your normal map, and Gloss is just your spec map. So, yeah. That's all I did to set up mine, and it'll give it a nice, cool feel to it. So, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you want to know more about any of this stuff, I can probably answer your questions about it. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the basics of what those different things are and how I create mine. I'm, I'm, there is a way to create this stuff in Photoshop, but it, it takes a lot longer. And Crazy Bump is just a pretty awesome program that calculates that all out into real time so you can view it. So yeah, I'll leave a link to uh, Crazy Bump in the, um, the description and all that. So you guys can go and create your own maps for that.